How to use vidIQ to get more views in 2024. First, I'm going to show you what this strategy already did for me. So I started my channel one month ago from scratch and I basically had zero subscribers. And this here was one of my first videos. Now in the first day or two, it only got four views, four to six, six, 10, and this is pretty bad. But once the algorithm caught on to it, it just kept getting new views and now it has more than 2.5K already and it's only accelerating as you can see. I did this for some of my videos and my clients' videos too using the same vidIQ strategy that basically forces the algorithm to promote you. In this strategy, I position my video in a high search volume topic with very low competition. So what this means is if 2000 people are searching for a certain topic and there's no videos made on that topic, if I make a video on it, all of those people will come to my video because they have no other place to go to. Now I'm gonna be using the pro version of vidIQ and if you want it too, you can click the link down in the description and also support my channel along the way. Thanks. Now how do you do that in vidIQ? First, you open vidIQ on your Chrome and when you open vidIQ, you basically get this dashboard to look at. And vidIQ has many different tools to get your YouTube channel to grow. But what I found is the most powerful one out of all of those is keywords. Now what keywords does is it basically shows you how much search volume there is for a specific keyword like YouTube and how much competition there is. And then it also tells you a score on how easy it is to get your videos ranked with this keyword. And what we're aiming at is having the score be in green because this is the easiest way to get ranked as a small channel. Now, the first thing you have to do when you enter keywords is find a master keyword, which is just the overall topic that your channel is about. So for example, my channel is about how to grow on YouTube. So the master keyword would be YouTube. Now, if you're not lucky and you're in a niche with very low competition and high demand, your chart is gonna look somewhat like this and we'll have to look deeper to get the keywords that we can rank on as small channels. The first way to look for these keywords are related keywords. And these are the topics people searching for YouTube are also searching for. And you'll see many unrelated topics, maybe also unrelated to your channel too. Here we also have the search volume, the competition and the overall score that we saw on that chart. Now we can sort these keywords with overall and we can see the, the best we can get is medium and, and a score of yellow, which isn't the best if we wanna rank our videos. So the next way to search for better keywords is using the matching terms. Now what matching terms does is it takes this keyword and it searches for all the keywords that have this in it and also something added to it. And here, if we rank for overall, we already get some better keywords like YouTube automation, how to make quiz videos for YouTube, how to add chapters to YouTube video, SEO, YouTube, YouTube keyword research, some other languages, YouTube promotion and stuff like that. Now, we could pick any of these ideas already here, but I'm gonna show another way to look for ideas and this is questions. And this is just questions that contain the keyword you search for. So here you can see how to make a quiz is here again, how to transfer a YouTube channel to another Google account, how to get a transcript, how to use Google Trends and so on. So the best way to pick ideas is to get an idea with high search volume and very low competition. So this has to be very low and the score has to be very high. This is the best way for, to get your videos ranked. Now, once you find the idea you're happy with, you basically have to do three things. Optimize the title, optimize the description, and optimize the tags. One thing you have to remember here is YouTube prioritizes the title first when it comes to SEO, then the descriptions, and then the tags. So the tags are the least important. Okay, so how I do this is I go into vidIQ, I click on the keyword that I wanna select. So for example, how to add chapters to YouTube video. I go under related keywords, sort by overall, and then I just take every keyword that matches the description. So this one, this one, this one, this one, timestamp, add a timestamp link, add chapters, okay? And I copy these keywords, I go to the video that I wanna edit, go in there, go down and edit under tags. And then I go back to vidIQ, go to matching terms, again, sort by overall, and I go through these and also select the ones that I wanna add. I also look at the numbers for the search and the competition as this is gonna come in handy later. I copy these, I put them in, 
Then last thing is I go into questions, do the same thing and I copy all of them from here too. So let's say we copied it in and now what we want to do is we want to add the best keywords that had the highest traffic and the lowest competition in the title. So for example the title of this video could be how to add chapters or timestamp to YouTube video 2024 updated tutorial and then we go down we look at if there are any other things that we missed here how to add a timestamp how to add chapters easy easy two minute step by step guide easy two minute step by step guide I will move away the tutorial and you can already see the actionable SEO score is a lot higher now that we have the title optimized and the tags optimized we go to write the description and in the description the first thing you write is the top of the description which doesn't need to include a lot of keywords it just helps the viewer click on the video if he goes down into descriptions to check what it is about so in this video i'm going to show you how to add chapters or timestamps in less than two minutes youtube video in less than two minutes now it's already looking pretty good but we have to optimize it for seo so we go down here and we create a section right here below about this video and this section is all about cramming as many keywords in as possible but still making it sound natural because if you're just gonna list keywords your youtube channel is gonna get banned so you cannot do that so now we go down here for inspiration and we just repeat all the stuff now i'll just skip ahead and i'll show you what the end product will be now this can be in the seo description and if you have more keywords to target you can add more in for now i think i covered most of them and then you just go with the thumbnail and everything else optimize the video and post it now for the other tools on vidIQ i haven't found that much use for them yet the ai generator it's not that good yet the daily ideas aren't that good either you can get a little bit of inspiration from that but i use keywords to get more inspiration and i always get more inspiration from here the competitors tab is interesting you can select all of your competitors like this and you can go down you can compare with them but the more powerful thing is you can also see what videos they are making and if you want to see what's trending in your niche you go down to the views per hour you put it under this month and you see what videos are trending for your competitors so you can make videos similar to them or videos that answer that type of topic the subscribers tab only works with the boost plan uh, so it doesn't work with pro it's about what your subscribers are watching on YouTube and then you have the SEO which also doesn't work with the pro you have the events which I haven't found useful yet and you have the AI coach which is also in beta stage so this one's not that useful either at least and usually chat GPT will give you better answers than this one I'll be posting more tutorials on how to grow on YouTube in 2024 so if you're frustrated and you don't know how to get views your videos aren't ranking as much uh, click the link below for our newsletter and you'll get one email a week with value-packed information and strategies that I found work for me or my clients and we'll grow YouTube faster by doing it together now there's one thing you may have noticed and that is that the top creators like Alex Ramosi, Cody Sanchez or Mr. Beast they aren't using the same SEO optimized titles that we're using in this video that's because YouTube has three different algorithms to promote a video it has the suggested algorithm the browse algorithm and the search algorithm and we're targeting the search algorithm while they are targeting the browse algorithm and what the browse algorithm does is it shows the videos on your home page and on the side of the videos that you watch now this approach also works but i found the most predictable way to grow as a small youtube channel is to target search based topics that have high demand and low competition because you basically force the algorithm to push your video even if you don't have any subscribers whereas if you target browse you kind of have to rely on the algorithm to find your video find the right audience and make them click so it's a lot harder I think to grow as a small YouTube channel 
with browse targeting. Now when you have the topic selected and you know what video to make, the next thing you're gonna have to do is write a script that won't push people off when they watch your video. So you can watch this video where I show you how to write a script specifically for search targeting that keeps the people and also makes them subscribe to your channel and follow for more. I'll see you in the next video, thanks.